what else could happen to a stick? You know, the, the light mobile thing took off. What else could happen to a stick to make it lighter? They're doing carbon fiber. They're doing titanium. You've got weight reduction holes. Like, you, you, you probably can't say if you got something, but I just, I don't <laughs> even know. Is, how that's I, an interesting question. So, so uh, I'm not interested in making a lighter stick. I have the stick that is the right weight. You get lighter, you get uh, less reliable. You start making out of plastics and carbon, you start having weather problems, you start having issues with certain things. Um, so I like a good aluminum silenced stick that weighs a couple pounds. I mean, one, two pounds is too heavy. Now, if you're, yeah. if, you, if you're one of these guys that has to have something lighter than that, you're really a gear freak, which is yeah. nothing wrong with that, but you're not really a hunter. You're a gear freak. Maybe you're a hunter and a gear freak. But and I don't have a problem with that. I mean, a lot of people love cool things. Awesome. Yeah. But a good aluminum stick is all you need. I mean, I'm more worried about how it grips the, the tree, how it functions, the how right packs up easy. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Those are the things that matter, not lightness. I mean, lightness matters. We hit the we hit the weight we needed to be at. You start getting lighter, you start losing certain functions. Like uh the tree stand thing. Guys that are making them out of the same material I'm making them out of, now to get them lighter, are making the seat height lower so they have less tube. They're making the uh, platform smaller so they have less platform. Then they're saying, look, we got them beat by a couple pounds. Okay. It's already light enough, but now the guy can't stand on the stand. He's got to stand on one foot. He's got to hang one foot around a cable. He's got to, you, you know, maneuver. He can't shoot behind a tree. I'm making it for a hunter, somebody who's out to kill a deer. So, um, I'm not, the lightness thing really doesn't do me. What, Josh, you just said something a second ago about packing. And, um, I spend a lot of time, um, not, not a lot of time, but I talk quite a bit with, uh, Brian Landry, um, mobile hunting gear. He makes the stick talons and, and we talk about systems a lot, packability, you know, and, and Dan, I know you have standard sticks. But I know from what I do that some people have your sticks and other stands or saddles. Mm -hmm. Your your stand or I'm sorry, your sticks are used by saddle guys and stand mm -hmm. guys. And some guys just haven't stepped up to spend the, the money on the stand yet. So they'll have yep. a lone wolf and your sticks and just integrate all that stuff together. I mean, I really like what Brian Landry's doing with he's kind of pushing the system of how to pack stuff up. Um and anything on pack. I mean, you guys are obviously, and even me when I tree stand hunt, I have your stand and sticks. But I use Brian Landry's method to put that together. I really like those talons. Uh, I don't mm -hmm. use the stacking rod. Um, anything you guys want to lend on the system or packability? Yeah. So, so when I build something personally for me, I build it for me, for what I, you know, for the way I hunt, how I hunt, what I do. I don't worry about coolness. I worry about functionality, about how quiet I'm going to be able to get the thing apart, how easy I'm going to put it together, if it's going to catch brush. And I test stuff routinely. So sometimes it might look like it's going to catch brush or something, but if it doesn't and you can build it so it doesn't, that's all that matters to me. I don't care really about looks. It can be a Frankenstein as long as it, it functions flawlessly. Um, I don't mind the, the talons. I think they're uh, they're kind of a cool product, but I like the way they screw together onto the, onto the stand for me. I like having that little platform base in the back where I can put my coat on and stuff. And uh, for me, that's it. I don't know. I can't understand why anybody puts them flat. It makes no difference for weight the way that is. Um, and really, when I go through brush, the only time I've ever had a catch on anything from stacking is if I'm crawling on my hands and knees down a trail, which occasionally I do. But uh, otherwise, I think uh, stacked is a better method. Um, but that's yes, me and I'm, the, I'm the opposite of Dan, well, Dan knows that I, I just throw them. I like them because I'm, I don't have to like, I don't have to stack them. I, I just throw them on the back and throw my bungee strap over it and I go, that's it's just how it works. I, like. I just get a little more rattle out of that. Well, yeah. And I, I've, uh, I mean, I just haven't, I just what I'm used to, you know, that's what I'm efficient with. Exactly. So I never, you, you know, part of it is um, you got to get used to that, that mm -hmm. screw knob, but once you get used to it, it's like, it's great. Mm -hmm. In my in my opinion. Yep. I haven't even tried it. I, I just I don't go very high in the tree when I go. 
and I just I just pop a couple you know those talons right there and and I just like it but but what what he's doing as far as and Josh maybe you can speak to this a little more because you seem to be more of I think I know you had a saddle at one time and you you seem to be more of a gear freak than Dan. Um, mm-hmm. at, what what sticks did you use before you had the B stand or the B sticks? Oh, the old, the old uh, lone wolf. Ri- yeah, the original ones. Yeah. Okay. And how did you pack them? The way they did them. Essentially, essentially the same as I do okay. the the B sticks now. It's that's the reason I just I like I I'm just used to it and I'm fast mm-hmm. and I I just hard headed about it. And I that's guess. the thing I did the same thing you're doing when I had yeah. the. the the lone mm-hmm. wolves yep just just kind of my uh just my way of doing it i don't I'm not saying it's right it's just how i do it you know everybody does it different but you know some some people focus on on a on a packable system and and some like like you do you have you you have your threaded rod and how you use it and josh doesn't use that and i do something different but you know maybe that's one thing that that we, we could talk about a little bit is just how you how how others could mix and match and and Dan doesn't use different sticks and different stands but you know just putting other stuff together because it's being done out there you know mm-hmm. like some people really like a certain stick and but they like this saddle or they like a stick and they like this stand and well, just marry the whole thing you know, a lot of ways you can attach them things yeah so that was part of the part of the ideologically why we designed it like that so that you could put bungees around it you could do this mm-hmm. put bolts through it you could do all kinds of stuff and still have that kind of a camo pattern out of it have the lightness and have a better grip because your your fingers grab right onto those holes you kind of can see through it in a 3d way but a big part of that those holes was so that you could attach it in different manners and ways because i knew there's going to be people with like uh they're set in their ways um or they like a certain way of attaching um more than other ways or they're using different equipment where they can't just screw it to the equipment so uh, that's why they're designed the way they're designed if you want to watch another video click right here but don't forget to subscribe before you leave